In Oracle Database 23 AI, we introduce the ability to audit actions at the column level in Unified Auditing. You can now create Unified Audit policies to audit individual columns and tables and views. The feature enables you to configure more precise and focused audit policies to track access to certain columns, which in a real-world scenario might hold more sensitive information. For instance, you might want to audit updates to salary column in an employee table. With this enhancement in Unified Auditing, sensitive data access auditing becomes more selective, focused, and effective to track changes to only certain relevant columns holding critical or sensitive information, thereby reducing the creation of unnecessary audit records while helping you meet your compliance requirements. If you were wondering why sensitive data access auditing is becoming so prominent requirement both from security and regulatory compliance, we live in the digital era, where data is the world's most valuable resource since it holds the key to power your business. And bad actors target databases to get access to the data. Sensitive data among them are the crown jewels that hackers are typically after. And studies like Verizon's 2023 Data Breach Investigations report back the claim with their findings that personal PII data is the topmost target for attackers. Auditing all data access in the database may not be practical and efficient, but auditing access to sensitive data is certainly more effective, narrows down the scope of monitoring to what's more relevant. Let's look at how you can leverage the new capability of auditing at column level to monitor access to your sensitive data. The key strategy to monitoring access to your sensitive data includes knowing your sensitive data, auditing access to your sensitive data, monitoring the audit trail for abnormal or unusual activities. Let's take a look at the first step to knowing your sensitive data. There are various options available to help identify the sensitive data landscape in your entire database or a specific schema. For instance, Database Security Assessment 2 is a command line utility available at no additional cost for a quick database security assessment and identification of sensitive data within a database instance. It gives you the summarized output in the form of report with all the details. Another option is Oracle DataSafe Cloud Service that provides the data discovery workflow to discover sensitive data in target databases. The data discovery workflow searches for the sensitive columns in your Oracle databases using the Oracle predefined and the user defined sensitive types that you choose. You can save the discovery results in a container called Sensitive Data Model, which shows you in a visual manner the entire sensitive data landscape that's discovered. You can visually see where the sensitive data is located, which schema, which table, which column, what kind of sensitive data, estimated count of their occurrence along with sample data. For instance, salary in employees table discovered in this flow is typically sensitive confidential data and monitoring their updates is probably the most natural actionable task to plan for. Similarly, Oracle Audit Vault and Database Firewall allows you to configure a job that can be scheduled periodically to discover sensitive data in your instance. Armed with the knowledge of location of sensitive data such as salary and employees table, you can now proceed to create unified audit policies which are selective and precise. Starting with Oracle Database 23 AI, Unified Auditing provides the ability to specify the object action to audit individual columns in tables and views. For instance, to audit update statement to salary column in employees table, the sample Unified Audit policy looks as such. To monitor sensitive data access, you typically would provide the columns holding such sensitive data along with the action you wish to audit on that sensitive column access. This methodology enhances precision of audit, especially of sensitive data access, improving its quality and effectiveness. If you had been using fine-grain auditing historically to audit specific columns in the tables of use, continue using them. In 23AI, where you have a choice to select unified auditing or fine-grain auditing for auditing specific column access, you should use unified auditing unless your audit requirement is one of the following use cases where FGA is still required. 
monitoring the sensitive data access based on row values. For instance, you have a requirement to audit update statements to the salary column if and only if the salary is above 5000. A typical real-world scenario is monitoring credit card transactions above a certain threshold. Or you need to integrate with event handler functions within the database. Say send an email alert to a security administrator when an audited column sh that should not be changed at midnight is updated. Now let's take a look at this demo of configuring audit policy to audit specific columns in a table. We have employees table in HCM application schema which has salary as one of the columns holding sensitive data. HCM application service account HCM app user 1 has privileges to access and modify the salaries and hence there is a requirement to monitor the updates to it. We create an audit policy to monitor update statements to salary column and enforce on the application service account. Now connected as the application service account, run the typical workload expected from the service account. Now if you see the audited entries in unified audit trail, you will only see update statements to the salary column in employees table. None of the other SQL statements in the workload are captured. This improves precision to audit actions on certain columns. Now let's see an instance where fine-grained auditing is still required. If you are required to audit update statements to the salary column only if the values either prior or post-update are greater than 5000, then we will have fine-grained audit policy with audit conditions set accordingly. Let's run some workloads updating the salary of few records with values lesser than 5000 and few greater than 5000. Now if you see the audited entries in unified audit trail captured by the fine-grained audit policy, you will see updates where value either prior or post the update had been greater than 5000. Now refer to the unified audit trail records for the unified audit policy that we created prior and all the update SQL statements to the salary column are captured. In Oracle Database 23 AI, where you have both the options to do column level auditing, you should be using unified auditing unless your audit requirement is one such typical use case. Now that we have seen how we can create audit policies with precision for auditing sensitive data access, let's see how we can monitor the audit trail near real time with these options. Just generating these audit events in the database and collecting audit data doesn't help. You need to monitor that audit data for unusual or abnormal activity and of course across your fleet of databases. For instance, in DataSafe, you will start the unified audit trail to commence the audit collection to move the audit events from database into DataSafe. You can leverage the sensitive data activity report to get visibility into all activities that happen on your sensitive data. And since the audit policies are set to audit precisely on sensitive column access, these events in the reports are very focused to activities that happen on those sensitive data columns. Similarly, in AVDF2, once the audit collection commences, you can monitor the audit trail to spot any unusual activity on sensitive data access with activity on sensitive data report belonging to GDPR category. Many data protection regulations recommend for incorporating a continuous monitoring practice for sensitive data access. And this visibility in the form of reports is quite crucial to demonstrating the compliance. To summarize, we have examined the key strategy to monitor access to sensitive data and learned how the enhancement in unified auditing with column level audit capability helps improve precision and thereby the effectiveness of monitoring access to sensitive data.